getting started with Thrive Suite is super easy. In only a matter of minutes, you can have the basic layout for your website all finished. And that's including choosing the designs for your homepage, header, footer, blog posts, and more. Let's get started. purchase Thrive Suite, you'll need to download the Thrive Product Manager plugin. So simply click this link and it'll download to your local computer. Then you'll need to go to your WordPress website and then go to plugins and add new. Then you'll click the upload plugin button and then you'll just look for the file you just downloaded. And then click install now. After you see that the plugin has been installed successfully, then you can click Activate Plugin. All right, so now on your plugins page, you should see that Thrive Product Manager has been installed and activated, and then you can go to Thrive Product Manager. You will need to log in to your Thrive account, so let's go ahead and do that. And I happened to already be logged into Thrive Themes, and so this automatically connected for me. So now you can select all of the plugins you want to install. I want to select all of them, so I'll select all. And I also want to install Thrive Theme Builder. And then click Install Selected Products. When all of these products have finished installing, you can simply click Activate Thrive Theme Builder. And then click Go to the Theme Builder Dashboard. So now you'll be prompted to choose a companion theme for Thrive Theme Builder. Omi is our latest release, so let's go ahead and choose that one. So that brings us to the Thrive Theme Builder site wizard. So here is where we're going to choose the layout for all of these things here. So our header, footer, homepage, our single blog post templates, our blog post list template, and our default page. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll have to do is upload a logo for your site. So I'll simply click on this logo here, and then I'll select the files from my local computer that I want to upload. Now that they've been uploaded, I'll go ahead and select the dark logo meant for a light background, and I'll click select. And then I'll click choose and continue. For my main brand color, I've already picked something out, so I'll simply click on this swatch and then I'll enter the hex code for that color. And then I'll just click apply and then click choose and continue. We've got a little quick tip here, letting us know that we can change the header by choosing this drop down, or by clicking the left or right arrow keys. I'll go ahead and choose the drop down so we can take a look at all of the available theme headers. This one looks pretty good, so I'll simply click on that option and I'll click choose and continue. Now let's go ahead and choose a footer. This one looks nice and simple, so I'll choose that one. You can see that the preview has updated down here at the bottom, so let's go ahead and click choose and continue. Next, you'll have to choose what to display on your home page. I highly recommend choosing from of our ready-made home pages because we have several templates that are optimized for conversions. So let's go ahead and choose that option. And now we can go to the drop down and look at the various template options. Now these are all really gorgeous layouts, but I'm going to choose this one for now. And then I'll click choose and continue. And now we can choose a layout for a single blog post. So let's go ahead and click this drop down. And you'll notice that there are several templates for different types of blog posts. So let's say that you're a YouTuber and most of your content is video based. You can do something like a video post, or let's say you have a podcast, you can do an audio post. But for right now, I just want to choose a template for a regular blog post. So I'll go with the featured image narrow content template. And then I'll click choose and continue. So for the blog post list, this is essentially your blog role. So let's go ahead and click this drop down to look at the various layouts. So this layout looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and click that one. And then I'll click choose and continue. 
So now we can choose a template for our pages. So these are pages like our about page, our contact page, things like that. So let's go ahead and click this drop down, and we'll go with something simple. We'll just go with the title banner template and then click choose and continue. Now, if you are converting your website to Thrive Theme Builder and you already have menus set up, then you can choose those menus here and then you can click activate menus on my site. However, this is a brand new site, so we don't have any menus. So for now, I'll click continue without choosing a menu. All right, so we are finished with the site wizard. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the home page looks like. So we can see that the logo is being used in the header. Uh, this is the header that I chose in Thrive Theme Builder. We can see that the main accent color that I chose is being used for buttons and variations of that color are being used for elements such as this circle here. Let's scroll down a bit. We can see that the main accent color is also being used for icons as well as background colors. Now it would be nice if we could see what a typical page or a typical blog post looks like. However, since this is a brand new site, we don't have any pages or posts set up yet. But if you like, you can go ahead and set up just a test page and a test blog post to see what those pages will look like. So you can just go to your WordPress dashboard and go to posts and add a new post, go to pages and add a new page. For right now, there's actually a couple things I would like to show you in Thrive Theme Builder. So let's go to the Thrive Dashboard. Let's go to Thrive Theme Builder and let's go to the Templates tab. So here is where you can access the templates for your homepage, your default posts. And as you can see, you even have templates for your video posts and audio posts. So these are great if you have a YouTube channel or a podcast. You also have a default page template and a 404 page template. Under list templates, you also have a template for your blog role and an archives templates for your blog post categories. If you click on this drop down, you'll notice you can view other groupings of templates, or you can click all templates to view all the available templates for this theme. I'd also like to show you the branding tab in Thrive Theme Builder. So under theme colors, if you ever want to change your main theme color, you can do that by simply clicking on this swatch. You can also change your logo and you'll notice that you can also choose a dark version of your logo for light backgrounds and a light version of your logo for darker backgrounds. So I can go ahead and click on this and I can select a light version and that just shows up much better on darker backgrounds. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, you can also select the favicon for your website. So let's just click on this X here and let's go ahead and upload a favicon. After uploading, make sure that the right file is selected with the check mark and then click select. All right, and now let's go to the typography tab. So this is where you can make site wide changes to your typography. I'll go ahead and click the pencil icon to edit this. And if we scroll down this page, you'll see that there are examples of all of the different types of typography that would appear on your website. You can select different groupings of these elements to save time and edit them all at once. So for example, right now, all of the elements, except for the bottom one here, they are all selected. And then I can go to the typography tab. And if I want, I can choose a new font and that will affect all of these elements. Or I can select one line in and that will select just the headings and then I can choose a new font just for those headings. Or I can choose all of the paragraph text, and then I can choose a new font just for the paragraph text. And of course, you can select individual elements and just edit those one by one. All right, so now you've gone through the Thrive Theme Builder site wizard, and you've chosen basic layouts for your home page, default blog post template, default page template, and more. And you also know where to make global changes to your branding and typography. We haven't customized anything yet, but we will be doing that in the next few lessons.